Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, we're to the fun part. The part that everybody loves, duct tape accessories. Little Miss Dolly is gonna get herself a watch, some hair bows, and some fabulous shoes. Okay, so we're gonna be making some little shoes, some hair bows, and a watch. Now, for these little things, what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use some extra duct tape fabric that came when I was making the shirts and all my other different things. So this is a leftover piece from when I made my shirt. And I've got a little bit of blue that I was using when I was practicing. So I've got a little bit of leftover blue. I am gonna want my dolly. She's gonna be important for later on. I have a little piece of that accent tape. This accent tape is about four inches long. Then I've got a piece of yellow tape that, that matches the, um, the little skirty. And I'm gonna be using that for my bow right in the middle there. So what I've got is two tiny strips of that. So what I did is I took a strip and I ripped it so that it's a tiny little strip. It's only about half an inch wide. And it's about, oh, two inches long. I have a tiny little, little piece of parchment paper and the remainder of this strip of duct tape. Very important. Gonna have some scissors, a ballpoint pen, and this is important, a dry erase marker. And of course, all kinds of extra duct tape if you want. Now I'm also gonna need a little Velcro. And let me grab my Velcro. There's my Velcro and a little bit of Velcro. But you only need a tiny little bit of your Velcro. Okay, so let's start by making the watch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the watch band out of this strip of extra duct tape fabric. And I'm just gonna cut it. And I've got a lot, a lot of nice length here. So I just cut a strip. Now this strip is just gonna get wrapped around Dolly's wrist, like that. Okay, so. I know that I need about this much for Dolly's wrist. And so what I'm gonna do is take a tiny itty bitty bit of Velcro. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. So I put the two pieces together and I just cut. And like I said, this is tiny. Dolly, you wanna go on an airplane ride? There goes the airplane. Okay, I put that tiny little piece of Velcro right there, sticky side down. The other piece is on it, sticky side up. I'm gonna peel the back so that the sticky side shows. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this around my dolly's wrist. And then I'm gonna use the Velcro part. Whoop. So see, I'm gonna wrap this so it's down and under and then I'm gonna use the Velcro part to attach itself there. There we go. Open it up and see that little extra bit? I'm just gonna snip that off. So that now, now you could leave this as a bracelet if you wanted to, but I'm gonna make it into a watch. So see, there you go. She's got her little wristband. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the watch face. So to make the watch face, what I'm going to do is take this little piece of yellow. You could make it any color you want, but because her outfit is kind of yellow, purple, and green, I thought I'd keep it the same. All right, what I'm going to do is fold this piece of parchment paper with a piece of tape. So I put the tape on the parchment paper. I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm just going to cut a little circle. Now, if you need or you want to draw your own circle for a template, you can, um, but I'm just going to cut mine freehand here. And I'm just gonna cut it around. And I'm getting two, I'm making two pieces here. And the reason I'm making two pieces is so that there's no stickiness that overlaps because I have a pretty thin band here. Okay, so take one and I put it right there, right in the smack dab center. And then I take the other one, flip it over, and peel this off. You know, I did a bad thing. I cut my fingernails and I don't have any fingernails right now. Okay, so I'm gonna place that 
right on top. There we go, seals it in. So you can see it from both sides now. And now I'm just gonna draw the little hands and make it, let's see, three o'clock after school. There we go. And let's just put that on Dolly's wrist. Oh, let's put it on her other one. There she goes. Now she can tell the time. What time is it, Dolly? Time for a nap. Hmm, okay, you go to sleep. Okay, now I'm gonna make her little bow. Now to do her bow, what I'm gonna do is take this little strip and I'm gonna fold it over onto itself. I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of stickiness though. Just about a quarter inch of stickiness. And then what I'm gonna do is fold it over once again. So I've got sticky to sticky. I folded sticky to sticky. So I've got like a little miniature piece of uh, duct tape fabric with a little sticky edge. And I'm gonna fold this up onto itself. And I just fold that sticky edge over. And I fold that sticky edge over. And this is going to make the bow. Now if I wanted to make a tiny bow, I could cut this in half. So I'll make a tiny bow. But if I wanted to make a big bow, I just leave it like it is right now. I'll just show you. Make a bigger bow. You just leave it there, fold it in half, and then fold those edges back on half again on themselves. And that makes a bow. But I'm gonna make a tiny bow. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And then this will be for one side, this will be for the other side, because she does have piggy tails. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Fold it in half, and then I fold the top part towards me and the bottom part towards me. So I end up with a tiny little bow. This is why it's good to have this done ahead of time. So that I can just put this right, wrap it around in the center there. That's why I needed a skinny piece because I made a tiny bow. Okay, so I've got that sealed off there. There's my bow. And now what I need to do is I need to make the band that's gonna go around her hair now, my purple is at the very, very end. Look what's happening. And this is actually perfect for her hair. If you don't have this, you just use a little regular piece of duct tape fabric. Okay, uh-oh, her rubber band broke. This is very important that I get this on here. Okay, so we're gonna measure around. I'm gonna cut this into a little strip. And just like we did with the watch, I'm gonna do that Velcro. So I've got this extra piece left over from my Velcro from my watch. So put those two pieces together. Put one little piece of Velcro on this side here. There we go. I'm gonna give it a little wrap. I think I'm gonna to need to cut a goodly amount off here. So what I'm gonna do is just measure here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take this little piece off sticky part and place it in her hair and I'm gonna wrap try not to get the hair caught I'm gonna wrap that around really tight and secure it and then I'm just gonna cut that little extra bit off can't believe my rubber band broke it's one of those rainbow loom rubber bands too hmm okay so got a little hair in there Okay, now I turn this over. I'm gonna need a little bit more of this tiny tape. Stick it on top. Stick it on the purple. And just wrap this around. There. See, I just wrapped that around. So that went on the back there, on the front there. Take this, squeeze it, and wrap it around and secure it. There she goes. She's got a little bow in her hair. Okay, she's got her watch, she's got her bow, but she's got bare feet. So we need to make her some shoes. To make the shoes, we need to trace her foot onto this blue here. So I'm gonna stand her up. And I'm gonna put both feet on here. This is where I'm gonna use my dry erase marker. Going to stand her little feet up and I'm going to trace around 
Now I'm not going to follow her toe line. I'm just going to go around her toes. And then I'm going to come around the back and trace around the back. And do the same thing with the other foot. Round, round that out. Come around and around. So it's a little bit messy, but that's okay because I'm going to just cut these out. And now I'm going to cut them out. Now I'm going to definitely go on the inside of the line here because when you're using a pen and you're tracing around something like that, it's always going to be bigger than it actually is. So you should really trace, uh, cut, excuse me, cut on the inside of your lines here significantly. Okay, there's one. And I'm going to go to the other. Now, we need to make some straps. Okay, so we got one shoe and the other shoe. Now, to make the straps, what we're going to do is just cut ourselves some nice strips of this blue fabric. And in my case, what I did with my little shoes here is I made like little sandals. And so I have like a strap here and then a toe strap. So I've got two that are really skinny. And then I've got two that are kind of medium. Okay, so there's my two skinnies. And let's do the other fatty. Okay, there we go. That's the other fatty. All right, you will need your doll for this part. First thing I want to do, though, is I want to take a little bit of um, tape, put it underneath here. Now, unfortunately, I ran out of my blue, so I'm going to use a little yellow here. So I put that on one side there, and I'm going to take her foot. and put it on the sandal there. And I'm going to take this. I want to figure out where I want to put that sandal. I think I want to put it about there. So I'm going to just place that on the sole right there so that it sticks. And now I'm going to bring this up and over her foot. And let's lay her down because it's going to be easier to see once she's laying down here. Up and over, and I'm just going to take some tape and tape the bottom. Now, I would much prefer that this be blue, but unfortunately, I ran out of blue, if you can imagine it. Me running out of tape. I know, crazy. There we go. Okay, so now, just got a little sandal. Now, you could leave it like that. That, that is perfectly fine if you wanted to. Or if you wanted to, you could make a strap that goes around the back like that. But I'm going to show you how to make the toe strap. So all you do is slip her shoe off, really wish I had that blue, but oh well. What you going to do? I'm going to take a little bit more of this yellow. Just a tiny little piece. And I'm going to do the top part first. So I'm just going to take that little teeny piece of tape. Hopefully I can hide it here. So I'm putting it on the underside here. So did you see that? That's got its little sticky on it. Put it on the underside here. Now, if this was blue, I would be able to wrap this up and around, but it's not blue, so I'm going to cut this off. Okay, and then I just fold this over. Get her foot in place. Let's get that extra piece. Get her foot in place. Right, slide it in. Pull this down and over. 
and then just take that piece of tape and secure it. Okay, and then flip the sandal over and you can just do a little bit of securing all the way around just to make sure that those little guys don't come off. And then you would repeat on the other foot so that you have one sandal and then the other sandal. And there she goes. And there you have it. Dolly is accessorized and ready to go. Now, if you are just seeing this video and you want to know how to make the skirt, the shirt, and the vest, go to my YouTube homepage and just put Dolly into the search and all of her clothes will come up so you can learn how to make all of the items that Miss Dolly is wearing right now. For more great ideas for your dolls and other things, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.